it's on. <laughs> so, how are you guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, Vince. We're good, good. Oh, I'm alright. Yeah. Yeah, a bit louder. I think I'm louder now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, how was your weekend? Yeah, no, pretty chilled, to be honest. Pretty chilled, you know. Didn't really do much, but... Oh. Yeah, how about yours, Vince? Chilled. Took my son yeah. to football. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> the, thing, the thing I find very weird in this country, mm. I'm very poor with my geographical mapping. Geographical mapping. Yeah. Uh, it was playing at Dunstable. Mm. No, Houghton Regis. Yeah. I can't drive there. I have to put the sat now. Oh, to give yeah. me the direction. Yeah. <laughs> way <laughs> there and way back, yeah. So... Welcome to Vintage Kenya Talk Show. We have the big lad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today they have put me on a point check. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they have assembled some questions uh, that I need to go through with them and uh, just uh, see what how I can uh, put my statement. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'll let's. I'll, I'll start off then. Obviously, we know the, the and, channel and name. And don't forget to tell my subscribers to, uh, our viewers to subscribe to. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to Vince. Vintage Kenya 8690. That's the one. Please, yeah. So, obviously, in your name, Vintage Kenya, we know you. You are from Kenya. Yeah. So, obviously, growing up in the UK and stuff, we have free healthcare, free education systems. Is that the same in Kenya? Is it a bit different? And how does that work? Actually, where I come from, Mm. It's, it's a bit different okay yeah uh if i just talk uh, briefly about uk it's so enticing mm. and i like the system here yeah i like ra- your roads the policies actually your institutions are very strong and independent when you look at the school structure mm. actually it's free yeah they even free meals for children under the age of certain so, ages. yeah yeah from kindergarten they even provide milk for them Mm. to high school it's for free yeah and there's also university funds how do you call it yeah when you go to uni you can apply for gr- gr- grants, grants. Like, yeah student and, grants and it, it student loans okay. yeah yeah so when i compared that back home how i went to school and what's happening there it's totally different yeah but for us to ensure that all the children are entitled to free education from mm. kinder yeah. to university there are a lot of stuff that needs to be done in uh, underdeveloped world. Mm. For instance, uh, I can take a case study of Kenya because that's where I know best. That's where I come from. Yeah. But this one, I'm giving a shout to all underdeveloped countries. Okay. Especially the African continent. Yeah. And how we should run our affairs. Yeah. 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 So first of all, we have something called democracy, mm-hmm. and this brings us to the election, yeah. and this gives us people who are gonna serve in the government with good policies that can help the country propel to another level. So this is where we go wrong, yeah? Mm. So we got something in Kenya called Independent Electoral Commission. Okay. That is the body that stands for elections. Yeah. They oversee the elections. Yeah. They conduct the elections to ensure that there's free and fair elections yeah. that fits the choice of the people. But what I've come to realize, yeah, mm. we've had several elections in Kenya. Yeah. But it's never been free, to be fair. Okay. Yeah. So people go to the polling station early in the morning based on the policies of the candidates that they prefer best mm-hmm. to lead the country. Yeah. So this is the government that is for. It's called people's government. Okay. When you elect someone fairly yeah. to be at the top of the country, yeah. that's the people's government. Mm. But if we have independent electoral commissioners mm-hmm. who are puppets, yeah. who think with their bellies, mm-hmm. because once they've been given some yeah. stuff down yeah. there, yeah. it's called corruption. Yeah. Corruption is all over the world. But where I come from, you can see it on the table. Mm-hmm. So once these guys have been given some cash, yeah, they manipulate the elections. Okay. So they create what we called the government for the people. Mm. So it's the government yeah. for the people. Yeah. And these people who are on the top there, they are not the choice mm-hmm. of the citizens. Yeah. So they are there by chance 
Mm-hmm. And they don't have the right policies yeah. to realign the country to mm-hmm. a better place. Yeah. But if this can be done differently, mm-hmm. because we've had like how many elections? About four. Yeah. I'll be a bit brief anyway. It's a long story. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I hope you guys are prepared for this, isn't it? These guys have been tempering with elections. Mm-hmm. And one term is five years. Another term is five years. Okay. Another term is five years. Yeah. So if they fit into three terms, that's 15 years mm. of nothing. No growth, no nothing. Yeah. With diseases and poverty and everything. And that's where we end up with no free education for all. Oh, okay. And this one that's what infringe other peoples of their entitlement yeah because if education is meant for everyone mm-hmm. then the question isaac was gonna bring in about this thing yeah we can kick diseases and poverty and ignorance out of underdeveloped countries you see what i mean yeah so for instance kenya just came out for election recently was mm-hmm. it 2022 okay there were two candidates mm. Uh, do you want to hear the story? <laughs> yeah, go on, go on, tell us, tell us. Tell the people. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. This one is going all over the world. It's not only for Kenya, please. If you're watching this and your countries are experiencing challenges that we are discussing here, please uh, ensure that you listen to our discussion. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and likes and share, please. I will appreciate. We just came out of elections. Okay. 207 was bloody. Mm. Yeah. Because the person who was trusted to be the chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission mm-hmm. fiddled with the election. Right. And the results was clear as day and night. Yeah. Because people would tell. Tampered with it. Yeah, they tampered with it. People would tell like so and so was the chosen. Yeah. So we ended up with a bloody election where people were killed. Wow. Innocent lives were lost. Mm. So many people were de- displaced, yeah. and it was hard time. Mm. And as you all know that, because I'm not critis- criticizing Africa. Yeah. I'm a very proud son mm-hmm. of Africa and proud of Kenya. Yeah. But we got something called African Union. Mm-hmm. They're also, what's the word? <laughs> it's piled with the puppets yeah. who are flocking together. They are like the wolves in the sheep's skin. Yeah. They do things together. They know yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. So when we had a problem there in 207, mm-hmm. they never involved because UN, you know what it stands for. Mm-hmm. AU, you know what it stands yeah. for. If there's any trouble within that continent mm-hmm. and they need to ensure that things are done properly. Yeah. But they didn't do anything because most of the, gov- most of the presidents who were elected in that continent mm-hmm. has gone through the same manipulation. Right. to rig themselves into power. Yeah. So you went not to come to save Kenya. Mm-hmm. That's where we had someone called Kofi Annan. Yeah. He's now deceased, maybe. maybe. May, may his soul rest in peace. Mm. He's Ghanaian origin, and uh, he, was the, he was one of the UN secretaries. So who, who mediated peace talk in yeah. Kenya, oh. so they could find peace. And I'm telling you, people are divided among tribal life. Mm. So you are from that tribe, this is from this tribe. Yeah. We live peacefully, mm-hmm. though when the election comes, we got these big men with lots of money that they have stolen yeah. from the government coffers. These are public money. And they're being paid a lot of money. So they know, they, they ride on our back. Mm-hmm. We know mm-hmm. if, if we do this, we know what we're going to get. So yeah. they get elected all year, year yeah. out. And they end up doing things that are horrible. You see what I mean? So when I come back to your question now, yeah? Yeah. I just wanted to narrate that part. If someone is elected by people, by majority, mm-hmm. and he has good policies, yeah. how to, pro- to ensure that everyone is entitled to free education. Mm. And when we talk about free education from kinder to high school to university, we are providing opportunities yeah. for those who cannot afford because so many children in Africa wants to go to school, but they cannot afford. Like myself, uh, in primary, I used to be kicked out of class for only like a pound, really? which my parents could not afford. Yeah. Wow. But then I would mm-hmm. sneak back <laughs> to go to, to attend lessons. But if I'm yeah. found, I'm in trouble. Yeah. When you compare to here, 
completely different. Completely different. Yeah. It's free here, but kids don't want to go to school. They have to be uh, what, what? pushed. And, pushed. Yeah. Yeah. So they do, they miss the opportunity. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying, like in Kenya, we have about so many counties. Mm. We have national government yeah. and the regional government. So the government is uh what's the word the government we have national government and it has been devolved to the grassroots level oh, okay so you find like for instance in luton here you have a governor yeah. you know what i mean yeah so we have governors in all regions mm-hmm. so for how this governor should work to ensure that we have free primary edu- free education in kenya yeah we also got something called cdf it's called constituency development fund to me this current government have banned it. You know, free uh, constituency development fund is a kitty like grant here when you want to go to school. Okay. You apply for it. Yeah. But there it's different because the system doesn't work in the favor of the poor. This constituency development fund is under the local MP. Though we have the governor there. Okay. But this money comes under the MP. Mm. So he employs his people. Yeah. The opportunities he gives to his loyal people who are loyal to him and for you to get this loan like you are pro- from primary you want to go to high school mm. maybe some children are lucky yeah they can get funds mm-hmm. but also who who do you know in that space yeah you see so it's not kind of it's not reaching everyone yeah 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 so in my own take how i would i would handle it yeah i think it should be banned but in a clever way, mm. how are we going to provide it mm. in a different way? Yeah. So we create an independent educa- educational institution yeah. in every region yeah. under the leadership of the governor. You see what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we ensure that all primary and high school are free and university. Yeah. So instead of applying for this grant and you have institutional educational institution, institution in every constituency, so these people who are board members here, will ensure that whatever resources that school A needs, school B needs, and mm. how many schools they have in that region. Mm. So once the money is dispersed, you see what I mean? Yeah. The way you yeah. guys are doing it here. Yeah. You see, no one is applying for fund in primary or mm-hmm. secondary. It's it's free. Yeah. And there's a system how this money is flowing on education. Okay. Non- that's number one. That's how I would feel personally. Yeah. That whoever is watching this, this is how it should be done. And when you create education, we are kicking ignorance out of underdeveloped world. If yeah. we provide education for everyone, mm-hmm. I'm sure you will agree me, agree with me that you are yeah yeah of course kicking ignorance out of your region. Yeah. Through education, yeah. Mm. Through education, we'll get professionals. Yeah. And we'll not rely for foreign input. We'll get so doctors, yeah. we'll get nurses, yeah. we'll get engineers, mm-hmm. professionals, I mean, all over, yeah. all, all yeah, yeah, yeah. kinds, isn't it? So you will find when we want to build a road, we are not relying on China or other places, see? or other places, yeah. or UK, or America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see? Yeah. We are relying on our own because we have professionals yeah. through foundation of education. Mm-hmm. See what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Isaac, do you want to run about your question before I move on? Yeah. So, oh, shit. so like, how can you, like, prevent, like, diseases and poverty from your country happening? Yeah, I was just going to come there. <laughs> so, you get professionals, mm. yeah? Yeah. And now we are talking about poverty and diseases. Mm. How can we kick this out? So once we get these professionals, we got doctors, we got nurses. It's very simple. We have a cure for disease. Yeah. So in Kenya, like very simple diseases like malaria. In UK, I don't know how many years ago was malaria kicked out of UK. Mm. We, you, don't have, you don't have places of high breeding mosquitoes. Mm. How can we do a research to ensure that these mosquitoes doesn't uh, develop parasites yeah. to transmit yeah. for people to get malaria so malaria is killing so many children in my country and even others even me i was down with malaria one really? time 
and even before we last year I was there with my kids before we travel i think i remember yeah. before we travel they had to add the jab yeah for typhoid and ty typhoid is very simple look this tap this water is just direct from the tap mm -hmm. properly treated yeah where i come from i'm scared yeah. i can't drink it like this but when i was growing up in the village i was drinking from the river where the cows go to drink mm -hmm. they pull there they mm -hmm. pull there and it was normal because i developed immunity yeah. but once it strikes you you're gonna go down yeah. on your diving nose so by kicking poverty out of kenya mm -hmm. kicking diseases out of kenya we ensure that we also provide a free healthcare system whereby yeah. right now you have a you have a ratio of 50 patients to maybe two doctors how can that work 50 patients to yeah. two doctors yeah. so we can have a ratio of two doctors for five people because the whole population is well learned they are up they are nurses yeah they are doctors you mm -hmm. see what i mean and when we come how we can kick poverty out of kenya as well because i talked about healthcare yeah everybody cannot afford it mm -hmm. so you find someone is there is she's dying of malaria someone has got an accident road accident yeah they can't go anywhere because we don't even have paramedics mm. but we can't afford to hire people cubans to come to yeah. kenya because how can we ensure that we have enough professional who can do this yeah. through free education that mm -hmm. will ensure that everything is yeah. done and is well taken care of isn't it yeah. so when we talk about poverty now we are starting to develop create our own stuff yeah. africa actually kenya is one of the five wealthiest nation with over 50 percent resources in africa wow. including e uh, egypt south africa yeah. i think morocco is also there nigeria is there kenya is one of them wow. and the index number of employment is very high yeah yeah it's very high hmm. because of what we have not built a strong foundation for our children so this free education, I think this government, if someone is listening, uh, I think the president in Kenya now is Mr. Ruto. Me, I don't discriminate whoever is fit to run that office. So long as you are not, you have not manipulated yourself yeah. to be there. Because what interest should you have so much that you have to be the president? Mm -hmm. If you are not voted in, then what's the interest? Yeah. So you ensure that your election is free and fair, and whoever is chosen there, as the country at heart yeah. and it has policies that is going to serve the interests of the people mm -hmm. isaac do you agree yeah 100%. yeah on that so when i come back to your question about kicking poverty out of africa yeah. we got we'll have electricians mm -hmm. we got people who are uh, how do you call the engine engineers yeah, yeah. so when we want to build our road yeah right now china is building kenyan road mm -hmm. but they come with their employees yeah Maybe one percent of Kenyans are getting a job there, mm. but now if we are looking for a fund, how we can build our road? Yeah. If you apply for a fund, we got our resources, mm -hmm. and we also got manpower, because everyone is learned yeah. and the professionals on what they are doing. Yeah. So if we are talking about accountant, so and so has opened this institution. How many people can we employ? We you give it it's easily. Yeah. But at the moment, there's high rate of employment because people cannot do these jobs because they're not qualified. There's no way you can apply to be an accountant and you, you are not qualified. Yeah. You don't have a degree on anything. But if we provide free education, degree will be just like a drink of water. Because yeah. everyone is having it. Yeah. We have jobs on our fingertips. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're agreeing with me on no, that. No, 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 definitely. I think, like you said, also it ties into one thing. Like yeah. we have people who can't get their education and poverty and then that just sort of adds into it. So, yeah, I think it all just ties into one big circle. So if you hit it like the root cause, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so all the other issues. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, what I want to say mm. is not to give a bad picture of any underdeveloped country yeah. or even Kenya. These are actual facts yeah. that we need to attend to. You get me clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are also good parts of Kenya. There are also good stories mm -hmm. of Kenya. Kenya is one of the peaceful nations in Africa and one of the best countries that is doing well, mm -hmm. actually. If it's not ranked first, maybe second. Yeah doing well in africa we got other things like to resume for everyone who is watching this uh, i'm trying to look what i'm wearing it's more of a kenyan band yes. 
So ensure that you, you, you visit Kenya for your tourism destination. We have best uh, natural reserves that you can enjoy with your family. We have good hotels and very soon something is coming up, baby. <laughs> Are you planning to visit Kenya? You know, potentially, like potentially. next couple of years, especially when it's something I've wanted, like a place I've wanted to go. Yeah, and I saw you. You're also planning maybe in future. Yeah, I always want to go to Africa. One of one of the places. one of your destinations. Some of the countries there and visit. Okay. Go. Okay. You're building as well, then. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Something is coming up, man. <laughs> Very soon. Can't wait for it. Can't wait. I can't wait, man. Yeah, I can't wait. My hands are just tied. Yeah. Otherwise, I could be zooming like yeah, a cruise ship. Yeah. But hopefully, things will work okay. Yeah. I, I think I've exhausted most part of this. But for our viewers, if I went overboard, please just put down your comment. I will not hesitate to respond to your comments. Anything that we can discuss in our Vintage Kenya talk show, please feel free to put it down in the comment so we can see how we can deal with it. Anything, guys, you'd like to know? I've talked, I think I've taken 80% of this no, no, talk show. Yeah, it was good, man. It's good, it's good <laughs> to learn a bit of the inside. Yeah, the yeah, inside sure. of the government. I think we can behind. do that. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. definitely very interesting. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think, I think number one thing that is killing Africa mm. is dictatorship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you heard me talking about the Independent yeah. Electoral Commission. These are the guys that should be given a very harsh sentence. Mm -hmm. If you manipulate the election yeah. in favor of someone, they should be sued. Yeah. They're using the power for themselves. Yeah, for this, people, because they're being, they're being paid by taxpayers' money. But if you want to fiddle with this, there's a disaster that you're creating. You, it's a very delicate situation because people are divided along tribal lines. Yeah. And it's being fueled by these politicians. Mm -hmm. So to me, it doesn't matter who becomes the president. So long as he has the country at his heart, and also is the person that is chosen. Yeah. Because so long as you can deliver, it doesn't matter. And these African countries are, you know, Nigeria has got over 700 tribes. They speak different languages. Really? Kenya, we have over 67. We speak different languages. Yeah. But one unification is a Swahili. So mm. if I go to that community, I can speak Swahili. Yeah. I speak my tribal language as mm. well. English is third because Kenya is a British colony. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. One last thing I would tell Kenyans, so whoever is watching this, let's not get divided along tribal and party affiliations. This thing of party affiliations is like, if you don't belong to this kind of political party, we, we're not going to do this. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. People should be elected based on their manifesto and policies yeah. and if they can deliver. This is whereby I can speak about one guy. Uh, it's called Mr. Odinga. Mm -hmm. He's the challenger of the current president yeah. who they feel was man manipulated into the office. I think one thing about him, he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. And whatever I've talked about here was in his policies, yeah. actually, about, about social security fund. We have it here. Yeah. Job seekers allowances come under there. He talked about free education. Mm -hmm. He talked about how he can kick disease and poverty and ignorance out of Kenya. Mm -hmm. He had very good manifesto. Yeah. But we don't know what happened there during the election. Yeah. yeah? So what he, where he goes wrong, if you're listening to this, Mr. Raila Odinga, what, I think you should let people choose whoever they want to represent them. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. people are taking advantage of you. Like, if you don't belong to this political party, it's called ODM, then we can't vote for you. If, if it's free and fair, ODM will be popular. Yeah. I don't know what it means, ODM. It means Orange Democratic Party. Yeah, I okay. think so. If, you, if there's election in, let's say, Kasepul Kabondo, for instance, that's another constituency. Oh. I don't come from there. Yeah. I just, I just, it just rang in my mind. Yeah. Let the people of Kasepul Kabondo go for, how do you call it, nomination and choose the right person that they feel can represent them. But don't impose, let's, don't let someone use your name to impose themselves that now I'm the chosen one by, no one is God. Yeah. You can't choose someone to represent people, just same as you. No one chooses you to be the president. You are being elected by the people. Yeah. And that will run. But also people have a right. If someone has been imposed on them, mm -hmm. then they have a right for someone who, are, who is coming for the general election to dislodge that person from power. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? 100%. Yeah. Isn't it, Isaac?
So let's not be divided along tribal line and party affiliations. It sucks, isn't it? And to the president, me, I don't know if you rigged the election or no. This is what I hear. But for now, you need to work for Kenyans. If Mr. Ding has challenged you, then that's a matter to discuss another day or the Kenyan courts should be independent. I mean, the judiciary, they should be fair. If you won on a clean, clean hand, then you shouldn't be denied your opportunity. Mm -hmm. But if it was rigged, then there's no need of you being there. Yeah. Because if you are not chosen, then what are you doing there? Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Or ISO. So here, when we go to elections here, mm -hmm. you, you guys will be shocked if you're watching this from abroad. Here, they only have the clerks. There are no returning officers. There's no one who is watching. There's no police at the polling station. You go in, vote, go your way. You can even vote through your postal address. Yeah. And it's, if it's one, that's what will be counted. Yeah. Yeah, so let's, where do you want to see <coughs> Kenya in the next 30 years? Now this, another thing, I know we're just running out of time, but this MP is member of parliament and yeah. the, we are overrepresented with the, with the people. Yeah. And they pay themselves lots of money through taxpayers' money. So you find the wage bill, the government cannot do anything because the wage bill to entertain this kind of nonsense yeah. is too high. Yeah. We have members of county assembly. I think that would, should be even be abolished. We have women rep, we have the governors, we have the senate, we have the uh, member of parliament, we have the president, we have the deputy president. Then we have ministers. And people are dying of hunger, man. Yeah. People yeah. are dying of poverty. We have maybe half in the last. See? How, how can you go to bed comfortable? You're earning two million a month and some people are living below one dollar. Mm. Even me, when I was growing up in Kenya, you guys would be shocked. Mm. We used to go to bed hungry with no food. Yeah, honestly. Bro. People come from far. So I think this wage bill should be slashed. Yeah. Personally, this is, this is what I would send to Mr. President, Mr. Ruto. I think this wage bill should be cut down. And the MPs, what are you guys doing? Bring a motion in parliament where you can discuss about free primary, edu not free primary, free education for all in Kenya. All children should be part of it. It will help the country to develop big man, isn't it? Yeah. yeah? I think we've, we've said enough of this. Every, every kid deserves an education yeah. in the future. Exactly. Otherwise, the there's some good size of Africa. Yeah. Honestly, it's a beautiful world there. Mm. My town is just a few meters to the equator. So you can stand with one leg on there yeah. and the other one. Wow. Yeah. The equator runs through in the middle. That's crazy. That's mm. crazy. That's yeah. So stay tuned tomorrow. Stay tuned, guys. Tomorrow we are bringing some good content about traveling around the world. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to subscribe to Vintage Kenya 8690. Oh, um, <laughs> yes, sir. Soul, baby. Yes. Is it, is it stopped? Nah. It's still running.